Hello, this is Pepe Hernandez, and you're watching for BassPlayersOnly.com. Hi everyone, John Liebman here. You're watching for BassPlayersOnly.com. We're coming to you today on location from the 2019 Winter NAMM Show, Anaheim, California. By golly, here we are again. This time at the NS Design booth with our old friend. I didn't even know he was going to be here. Pepe Hernandez. Hola, Pepe. Que hay? Hey, John. What's up, my man? I'm happy. Feliz de estar aquí. Very, very glad. Yo también. Oh, some of them might not speak Spanish. Um, I was reading over the interview that we did. We published back in 2015. Can you hear me? Because it's very loud here. I, yeah, I can, okay. I can. No problem. Okay. And uh, we talked about your upbringing in Mexico. And I almost don't know where to begin for a follow-up because we talked about everybody from Benny Goodman, Glenn Miller, Count Basie, to Led Zeppelin and Emerson Lake and Palmer and merengue music and cha-cha and New York City and Mexico. So I'll tell you, we've got a, a pretty good overview of all that in the first interview and you could put in in the search thing Pepe Hernandez and it will all show up but it's been a few years so I'm so happy to run into you. I want to talk about what you've been up to in the meantime because I know it's a lot. You've got a new record, you've got a new this, a new that, so bring us up to date on what's been happening since we last spoke. Yes, actually I have two, uh, two new records. Um, one is um, like a groove-oriented uh, Latin funk with a really, really, really busy horn section, five, uh, five brass, all original music. And uh, the other one is a kind of Brazilian-oriented uh, uh, city, which is only Chorinhos. Chorinhos is a very, very difficult kind of music, which demands a lot of uh, a lot of uh, craftsmanship to play. So that's that's a, 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 a it was a great um, opportunity opportunity for me to to do that, and I'm very very pleased with it. Where were they recorded? Were they recorded in Mexico? Yes, yeah. sir. Not, although not all the musicians are Mexican, I have uh, musicians from Chile, from uh, Cuba, and uh, from Brazil, and uh, all, of course a lot of Mexican musicians. Okay, and one very important question in two parts. What are the titles of the records? Okay, one is called Son of the Beach. Okay. That's the, the groove-oriented one. And the other one... <laughs> you didn't say beach, did you? You said... Well, you know, I'm from Acapulco, so I say I am a son of a beach. <laughs> I just feel, because the accent, maybe you said, you know, like playa, beach. But that's not what you said. You said bitch with an I, right? No, I meant playa. <laughs> oh, beach. Yes. <laughs> I, I, and it's a, a great tune. I, I hope you can hear it soon. It's a really great tune. Uh, my new the, 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 the CD that came out a few months ago it's called Friendship okay. and it's a quintet fusion all, all, all my all the music I, I write all the tunes and it, I really like it I really really like it yeah, okay it was a live session we recorded live no overdubs no no it's live in, in the studio okay congratulations on both of them I can't wait to hear them and I know they can't wait to hear them. What else is keeping you busy now? Well, uh, uh, besides doing sessions, not as many as I wish, but still recording, I'm touring with this pop uh, singer. His name is Emmanuel, and that's been keeping me busy. Okay. Well, he's a pretty high-profile yeah. Latino artist. Yes, actually, we do also uh, an American tour almost every year. Okay. So that keeps me busy. Yeah. All right. I did mention that we're at the NS Design booth. And that is not a coincidence, because you play NS Design basses. Tell me which model you play and what you like about NS Design. I, I have a couple uh, of, of uh, CR5 uh, made in the Czech Republic, five string, really. The low B. Low, no, 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 I use high C. Ah. Yeah. I thought you were a bass player. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know. To me, it's very important to be comfortable. 
to be what? Comfortable. It's very important to be comfortable. So as uh, the, the least I, I have to travel with my hands, to me it's better. So it's very comfortable, very comfortable for me to play with a high C. It's not that I play that high, those high notes. It's the fact that I have everything uh, in the reach of my my fingers, okay. without moving all the time. So you can play more in position. Yes, exactly. You say you said it better. <laughs> And uh, you, you mentioned the models. Okay, strings. What kind of strings do you use? I use the Adario strings. Um, right now, I'm, I'm very crazy about the New York uh, model. They're NYXL. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people are talking about this. Since D'Addario released that line, there's been a lot of buzz about it, a lot of hype, and everybody seems to like those. I really love them. And that, those are the ones I'm, I'm using these times. And what about amplification? Well, I, I, I have uh, several, but the one I like and I use most is uh, Epiphany. Okay. Which, uh, Nicholas Epiphany, he's, he was so kind and he modified my, my 900 Piccolo. Is it 900? No. It's, is it 900 Piccolo? He, he put more, pow more power in it. Okay. That I understand. I'm not really much of a tech guy, but I understand louder. Exactly. <laughs> well, ex that's what we care. Yes. And what about the future? What else is in store? Do you have anything that you're working on now or anything that you're planning to do? Yes, this year I hope that finally I can come out with a big band uh, record and my orchestra uh, record. I have a two symphony, um, how do you call, uh, pieces, which are for... Uh, a group, a quintet, and symphonic orchestra, on music written by me also. Beautiful. We'll watch for that. Be sure to let me know. Yes. And we won't wait so long before we do a follow-up interview and we can share that information with these people here. I do have one more question. I don't remember if I asked you this last time or not, but if you can imagine, what would you be if you were not a bass player? Something outside of music. I, no doubt, I would be a gardener or an architect or a chef. Those things I really love. I love cooking, I love architecture, and I love gardening. Okay. Well, you can combine the gardening with the cooking. You know, you uh, can cook yeah. what you grow. That's, a, that's In what a I kitchen do. that you'll design. Oh, yes, exactly. And I improvise every day. I cook, you know, uh, with my wife, with Grisel. She does everything, but I cook. Don't we all improvise every day? Yeah. Well, you're a creative person. That's very obvious. Congratulations on your success you on the release of the new CDs, and we'll look forward to that new project. And who knows what you're gonna what you're gonna come up with after that? We'll look forward to all of that. Thank you very much. Thank you. In the meantime, let's be happy. There you go. A good note to end on. Yes. On location at the NS Design booth at the 2019 Winter Nam Show, which is pretty loud over here. With our good friend Pepe Hernandez, I'm John Liebman. You're watching for BassPlayersOnly.com.